Okay? So this time class, I'm going to discuss to you on how are you going to complete your task. And we'll start with uh, task 3, which is the branding kit. Okay? So on, sa classroom ninyo, uh, again, you will create a Google, uh, Google slide and rename it with this task uh, kasama yung uh, name niyo no? yun naman yung standard na pag-create natin ng file name <clears throat> okay, so you need to uh, put this on your slides the color palette and brand fonts that you've chosen uh, based on your fascination profile and based on your option so you need to also to include your logo you should make your own logo here and professional looking photo CV or resume, letterhead and proposal, social media headers for Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, okay, product description and rates, brand fascination advantage of adjectives given by the test, okay, do not create your own adjectives, ha, okay, so may record tayo niyan, uh, uh, scholars. About me, with 300 words, including the five adjectives as shown in your about me. Four marketing pillars given by the test. Do not create your own pillars. Again, tagline. At least one objective from your brand. Fascination advantage at least one na noun that shows your highest value as discussed. Okay. So, I am going to uh, share to you my own slides, my own branding kit. No? So, okay. So, we go. Alright. So, for me, ito yung mga colors ko. No? So, from green, ito yung mga combination. Ito yung, ito yung green color. Uh, ito yung mga colors na pwede siyang i-combine. Pwede silang mag-combine. No? I've researched this with the psychology of colors, actually. So, marami pa to, pero ito lang yung din na pili ko. So, with green and yellow, okay pa rin siya. Hindi siya magiging problema. So, I've chosen Oswald Board as Oswald Bold as my heading 1 and then this is, will be the subheading or heading 2 and the paragraph. Okay, so Verdana. No? So, across all my social media, my website, social media accounts, so ito yung gagamitin ko for para pare pareho siya. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. So, this is my logo. No? The name is Click Marco Digital Marketing Agency. And and your photo should be a um, professional uh, looking photo, okay? Just like this one, okay? So, uh, kahit naman anong damit, no? Not, this, not necessary naman na naka-Amerikana kayo, basta formal lang siya, okay? No sandals, hindi rin pwedeng, lalo na lang hindi pwedeng nakahubad, okay? For curriculum vitae, you should, um, ano lang din, screenshot niyo or paste niyo yung image here, for your resume or curriculum baby and for your letterhead and proposal at the same time for this particular slide and please do not forget to put your contact details email, skype, address, etc. Okay, so what else? Um, so this will be an example uh, your for your Facebook cover photo uh, pag nagawa nyo niya, you have to paste it here. Okay. And the Twitter banner at the same time. So, LinkedIn cover photo. So, if you will notice, class, no? Magkakaiba siya ng size. Actually, magkakaiba naman talaga ng size. So, kung ano original size na na-develop ninyo in Canva, okay, yun lang din ang ipipaste niya dito sa slides. Okay. You YouTube channel art, Okay, so with YouTube, actually, hindi naman ito lahat mako-cover, but ito yung advisable na size niya for YouTube, channel art. Uh, and then you have to resize it na lang para mag-fit doon sa inyong YouTube uh, uh, cover photo. Okay, what next? next? Okay, there you go. So for your product description and rates, you have to create uh, and develop your own. For me, it's if it's an FB ads campaign rate. So, ito yung FB ads campaign rate. Okay. So, ad campaign package, $1,000 for, $1, for full campaign writing. So, ano yung coverage ng $1,000 na yun, no? So, kailangan nyo din siyang ilagay and kailangan nyo siyang i-determine. 
So, writing copy for Facebook ads. So, these are the features, features of the ad campaign package, full campaign. And for the recurring rate, kasi you have to maintain the ads, you still need to put a copy. <coughs> uh, may reporting din ito at the same time. So, kailangan meron din recurring rate o meron kayong monthly retention fee at the same time. It is for me. So, maybe for you it will be different. Pero at least ganito yung inyong magiging presentation. Okay. <clears throat> for your brand's advantage, again, do not uh, invent or do not create your own. Alright? So, ito kasi yung result ng aking brand fascination test. So, my adjectives are precise, organized, detailed, methodical, proficient. So, you can present your own. Okay? So, wala naman tayong standard dito. Basta importante na i-present niyo yung brand's advantage adjective niyo. Okay. So, for about me, again, this is 300 words. Um, just a, a screenshot and put it on the slides for your about me. Okay. And for the pillars, for all your pillars, no, that is, that is uh, four pillars, no, depende kung anong brand fascination advantage advantage to you. So, for me, I just put uh, some uh, little design here. Pero ang importante dito, yung four pillars ninyo will be shown here. Okay? So, I will track the smallest details of your ad campaign to reinforce your brand identity. Sweat the small stuff. So, eto yung uh, based on my pillar, I created this one. Okay? So, pillar number two, I take notice immediately of any urgency on getting it leverage of your brand. So, kayo ang gagawa nito class. Okay? So, you will base your pillar here based din dun sa result ng brand fascination. So, I put here create urgency. Next, pillar number three, define consequences and deadlines. I prompt audiences to act and to act in a certain way demonstrating to them the negative effects of not taking action. And for the last pillar, which is number four, Use rational facts. I will convert an ad campaign into factual ad copy to captivate audiences and create urgency for the product conversion. Okay. So, again, no? So, kayo ang magdi-develop nitong nasilog ng pillar, but you will base this on the four pillars in your, uh, the result of your brand fascination uh, test. Okay. And for my tagline, it it is methodical solutions. Okay. And so, itong, oh, hold on. Itong, itong, itong methodic, methodical, kasama ito sa adjectives ko. Okay? So, good luck with your task here. We proceed to the next task. Okay, class, we'll proceed to the next uh, task, which is the niche market and the customer avatar. Okay, so just the same, the original, make a copy of this, rename it to the task, and put your name. Okay, put your name as well. Okay, so here are the results of, uh, actually, ito, ito yung totoong results, no? Actually, lahat ito, eh, ano, uh, this is the real one that I've created. Okay, so I might be able to put each one of this na but instead we'll focus on the discussion so you would understand better okay so anyway everything is provided naman here so you have your example you can also use my example at saka madali na naman mag fill in nito so specific markets for your skill i put here fb ads for wellness coaches fb ads for hotel beach resort fb ads for accounting firm so these are my chosen niche so, pagka, pero ito ang focus talaga, wellness coaches. So, chatbot development for wellness coaches and hotel, beach, and resort. So, that is only five. Then, ang gagawin ko is ira-rank ko siya. Markets you have served for as an employee, nakarang to, one to five. Okay, you will put one to five here. Highest, number five is the highest. Okay, so... <clears throat> markets you want to serve even for free. So, lalagay ko rin siya rito. No? So, kailangan i-arrange nyo din, no? Kasi pag uh, ginawa mo din siyang 1 ito, 1 din naman ang lalagay. So, pareho na siyang 1. So, check nyo din yung ranking ninyo. Okay? 
So it says here that you rank your answers from one to five. Okay, markets who markets markets who would benefit greatly from your service. So just the same, you are rank them again. And at the end of the row, sorry, at the end of the column, makikita nyo yung high naka highlight yung dalawang highest pointer, yung ha um yung cell who garnered the highest point. So yun ang magiging priority niyo. Okay? Uh, so here, of course, itong number 1 ang 15 ang score and number 12 and 12 yung score naman ni Chatbot Development for Wellness Coaches. Okay. So on the second part, rank naman lang din ishot nito for 1 to 3 your top 3 markets and ganun din ulit no so can your skills offer faster result so ayan so let's check on this kung mas masasatisfy ba niya yung mga different score na yan and for this result ang highest score is uh, sorry 7 okay chatbot development for hotel beach and resort okay and for finding your niche market in choosing your mark in choosing your market ask yourself do you know a lot about this industry of course that's number one uh, para you get familiar with that particular industry para you can serve better and you should be able to identify yung mga ranking mo dito no? so are there courses that can teach you how to succeed in this market do you have any connections network in this market can you skill solve their biggest problems or challenges? Yeah, kailangan din you do you do a little bit of research depend on your market. Kung masosolve na ba kung kaya ba niyang sagutin itong mga questions nito. Okay? Does your skill easily attract attract business in this market at the same time? Okay? If majority of this, then your niche is um, best for you or suited for you. Okay, so this is for the niche template. Madala lang ito class. All you have to do is to identify your market and rank it. Okay, so for the customer avatar, so medyo uh, iti twist niya ng konti ang mga brain nerves mo with this with this uh, activity, no? But all you have to do is to understand the questions and um, with your great with your great imagination you have to identify kung ano ba yung possible no possible na sagot dito with your target market okay which is your uh, avatar so may sample naman dito no actually originally yung form wala itong hindi ito nakalagay but you can uh, have this also have this form have this sh shit as your reference no uh, aside from this one, the sample uh, column. Okay, so we'll focus here on the third column, my avatar. So the name is Alex, the age is 25. Okay, so at this age kasi, ito yung mga age na uh, medyo health conscious or gusto mong payat, gusto mong maatin ang ano, as early as, as this age. In fact, ano pa nga, parang mas teen age, age pa nga, marami rin na rin mga health conscious. Okay. So, uh, Alex is a bachelor degree and he only uses Facebook as a social network. For number number one most important area of focus, develop the areas of self-discipline. Improve current health status. Okay, so I formulated this one. I think of this one you know, as the uh, uh, answer to the question for Alex. So, very important to say um, development now self-discipline self-discipline if you want to gain optimum health okay so number one long-term desire achieve optimum health so yun naman talaga ang pinaka number one goal aside from being sexy so number two long-term desire adopt a healthy lifestyle so um in order to achieve in order for you to achieve optimum health you should also improve your lifestyle and make it healthy so your immediate results your buyer persona one lose weight improve current healthy condition build muscle and improve physique so ito yung uh, immediate uh, results no i mean 
ito yung gusto niya makita with a, with a, with a certain uh, time, no? So, may say one month, two months, no? Kailangan mag-lose weight siya because losing weight is um, one of <coughs> the indication na you will become healthy in a proper way, okay? So, your person, your buyer's persona's enemy, well, uh, alam naman natin, no? Self-control and undisciplined self. So, ibig sabihin, pag kahit na you do the exercise, you do the diet, then after a while, bini-break mo naman yung the way you eat, no? So, wala din, mawawalan din ng kwenta yung mga activities na sinabi na sinabi sa iyo or pinrogram sa iyo ng coach mo. So number 2, improve current healthy condition. Healthy condition, build mass, ah oh, sorry, time for time for self improvement, okay? And unhealthy lifestyles. Okay, so ito, no? Kasi si Alex, maybe si Alex is is uh, working right now and then yung environment niya very jo unhealthy, mahilig kumain yung mga barkada niya, no? So, that's why ito nakalagay itong unhealthy lifestyle. And time for self-improvement. Wala siyang time. Okay? Wala siyang time. Ayun nga, barka-barkada. So, kung gusto niya lang mag-wellness, saka lang siya makakapag-wellness. No? So, yun ang uh, enemy niya, no? For now. So, problem to solve. Motivates to achieve well-being goals. Encourage Alex to stick with his time for, for himself to achieve his goal. So, there would be a lot of uh, effort on the part of Alex para ma-improve itong uh, problem niya, no? Most especially, yung pag encourage niya na mag-stick siya with, uh, with his time for himself kasi ito, when we do wellness, ito yung time mo for yourself, no? Para mag-improve ang uh, health mo. So, coach him, avoid any slowly change his lifestyle. Okay. So, unti-unti lang. Unti-unti lang. No? Hindi naman pwede mabigla kasi baka yung lifestyle niya related din sa kanyang work. So, pain points would be he can't avoid to eat from time to time. Yan. So, yun ang nagiging problem. Uh, pain points niya, so, I should say. He has a very unpredictable time of work. Okay? As much as he wanted to change his lifestyle, Alec has too many social functions that he can't avoid to eat and drink. Drink means here, drinking liquor or yung mga drinking sessions, no? So, yun ang mga pain points ni Alex na identify. So, critical questions uh, Alex needs to answer. What are the most common uh, usually eat? Are you really serious in the overall wellness of your body? Time blocker schedule for yourself. Okay, at the same time. So, kung seryoso nga ba talaga siya, eh, kailangan niya talagang mag-improve at baguhin yung mga old ways niya or yung old lifestyle niya. So, number three, are you willing to change your lifestyle? That's the greatest question. Are you willing ka nga ba talaga? No? Kasi this is the key for your op to achieve your your optimum health. So, roadblocks and objectives. Alex are having a hard time to achieve self-discipline. He tried other stuff in the internet. He did some diet routine. Nothing works. Okay. He really can't change his lifestyle. He loved going out to eat. Okay. So, eto naman yung mga objections at saka yung mga humaharan sa kanya para ma-achieve niya yung goal niya. Okay? So, kailangan identify ito para makapag-propose tayo o makapag um, gawa ng strategy para malabanan niya itong mga roadblocks na ito. So, bottom line results. Earn the results through self-discipline for just one week. So, parang chop-chop lang siya. So, progressive lang. At least progressive, no? And this will motivate him to continue on further. Wag, wag biglaan. Wag, wag yung kahit two days lang, three days lang. Para at least meron siyang achievement. Makakabuild ng milestone. Uh, and then that will encourage him to go further. So, number two, well managed that time that resulted a time for himself. Serve his man, sir, saves his money from extra expending outside, thus improving his lifestyle. Yes. So, yung lifestyle ni Alex, let's assume na, yun, know, mahilig lumabas, mag-gimmick, etc. So, with this, no, mayroon na siyang time sa sarili niya, ma-improve pa yung health niya, and makakasave pa siya ng money. Kasi mas magastos lumabas, mas especially baka si Alex, siya pa yung nangilibre because I think Alex is single. Ah, wala nakalagay dito. Okay. So, main solution you offer to Alex, 
enroll to a wellness coach. Okay. Or enroll into a program that a wellness coach has developed in a wellness center for the demand. Okay, so these are <clears throat> your ano, task. So, ganito niya siya gagawin with the niche market and with the customer avatar at the same time. Okay, so again, good luck, uh, good luck scholars for your task.